Hello, uh, this is a personal prophecy over you, Mitchell. Um, uh, let us pray. Uh, first of all, uh, dear Lord, um, give me the words uh, to say to Mitchell, um, words that will bless and comfort him. In Jesus' name I ask. Um, I get a um, picture of uh, uh, an eagle with, with uh, little ducklings, uh, not ducklings, eaglets, and um, the eagle has to uh, get the younger eagles and um, push them off um, the cliff. You've got to push them out of the nest uh, for them to fly. And I feel that um, you're coming to that stage uh, where the mother eagle is going to push you and you're going to begin to fly. Um, I feel that the Lord has uh, called you uh, in, in ministry to do ministry and has called you to uh, start to fly uh, and minister. Um, you said on Facebook that you're called to be an evangelist and um, uh, part of uh, evangelism is getting out there and doing the works of the ministry, um, um, having practical example. Um, I um, see a picture of um, a wedding cake and um, Jesus wants you to know that you're his bride and um, he's got a cake prepared um, in heaven uh, to bust open and to celebrate with you but um, he wants you on earth to realize uh, who you really are in him uh, he wants you to realize uh, your capabilities that uh, you're seated in heavenly places and uh, that you've got the authority of a king uh, and um, Sometimes uh, you are a bit down on yourself. Uh, sometimes you don't uh, feel that you're worthy uh, to work in the kingdom. Um, you look at yourself and you think um, that uh, you haven't got it all together, and that, um, that um, you haven't got what it takes to uh, really be a good ambassador for Jesus Christ. And... Um, uh, the Lord wants you to know that although they're common fears that uh, people have, um, their thoughts that are put there by Satan, um, they're not your own thoughts. And um, he wants you to know that you're more than capable, that he's called you to be an evangelist and he's placed those giftings in you. Um, part of the, the way you, you can read all you like about prophetic evangelism, but the way that you um, get experience in prophetic evangelism is just to get out there and do it. So um, I pray that uh, from this prophetic word on, you start to have divine encounters where uh, you'll meet a person and you'll get a word of knowledge about their life. And simply, you just simply say to a person, to a stranger, excuse me, um, I've got a gift and from time to time I get a message for a person and today I've got a message for you. Could could I share it with you? And most times, 98% of times, I'll say yes. And then you share the word of knowledge. And then as you open the tap, um, as you open the tap, the words will flow. Just like um, I didn't really have anything for you um, when um, I opened this uh, prophetic word. Um, but uh, the Lord has supplied the words uh, as I step out in faith. Uh, the, the Lord uh, prepares my words. If you uh, look at a um, hundred of my prophetic words, it's very rare that um, I start the prophetic word with uh, a prayer. Uh, that was a testimony to the fact that I was stepping out in faith in this one. Um, the Lord uh, sees you. Um, uh, he gives me a picture of a race car and um, it's a, on a track in a race and um, the race car is coming about fourth in the race. Um, now fourth isn't a bad position to end in a race but it's not in the top three and uh, you're, you're midway through the race and you're in a good position uh, 
to uh, have success uh, to even win the race and uh, Jesus uh, tells me that uh, you like cars and um, and um, you enjoy cars and uh, he said that uh, one day that you'll you'll get to go into a high performance car and uh, enjoy uh, someone driving you around a race track um, but uh, more importantly um, your life is um, a, a race um, we're all in the race that Paul called us to um, being in the race of the Christian life and the Christian uh, life race is more like a steeplechase um, there's uh, hurdles to go over and um, you've uh, you've had um, successes in life uh, you've got a good hold of um, the grace doctrine uh, you've got a good hold of the finished work of the cross um, all, all you need is a, a few divine appointments to get you out of um, uh, just study mode and get you into action mode um, and the Lord is quite willing and quite happy to supply you with those divine appointments to uh, keep you going um, you've got an inquisitive mind um, your, your mind, you, you haven't got a mind of really a, a, a doubter it's not um, doubt that um, causes your mind to um, uh, be inquisitive it's, it's just a naturally inquisitive mind you, you query things and you're inquisitive about certain things and that's a playful nature that the Lord loves um, about you and uh, he's got many surprises uh, many things uh, for you to see um, he's got surprises in scripture he's got surprises in books that you'll read um, he's got much growth for you um, he even uh, would like you even though uh, you said you're dyslexic I don't know how that affects you uh, writing um, but he even wouldn't mind you uh, writing short notes and posting notes on Facebook and sharing it with your friends share it in grace whack um, you've got a lot to share and uh, and uh, God wants you to uh, share that with other people um, so uh, I don't know if you've uh, ever thought of writing before but uh, as you can see with my writing it, it doesn't take much to be a simple writer just to express truth um, Jesus says that uh, he's uh, got uh, a chariot for you in heaven a chariot for you to ride around heaven and uh, it doesn't be different to a car or a bus or a train in heaven and um, uh, uh, you um, must have uh, seen the Ten Commandments or seen uh, uh, shows on TV um, and the movies uh, with chariots and seem to like chariots um, I, the Lord's telling me that uh, you wouldn't have minded riding in the chariot with Elijah um, going up to heaven and um, so uh, the Lord said uh, that uh, you're gonna uh, get to ride a chariot uh, in heaven and um, Possibly if you've got the faith you'd be able to ride one uh, sooner than that before you get to heaven um, I hope that, that this prophetic word has blessed you um, know that um, That you're much loved and and uh, God really enjoys uh, your deep sincerity uh, you um, You're a sincere person you say what's on your mind and you share what's on your mind you, you don't uh, wear masks you don't wear faces uh, you say what you say is what you get what you see is what you get and uh, God loves that about you I hope that this has blessed you please uh, give me some feedback